today's video I am so happy with and so happy to be sharing with you guys. I'm going to be showing you how I created this throw pillow with tassels right here and an area rug using the little rugs that Dollar Tree just got in that have tassels on the end of them. They have them in four different colors, green, beige, which is what I use, this black one, and then another black one that looks exactly the same with, but with black tassels. The area rug cost me $5 to make in Dollar Tree products. The pillow cost me only $2 to make in Dollar Tree products. There are some other products you're going to get not from Dollar Tree, like the stuffing for the pillow and so on and so forth, but you are going to have lots of leftover for other projects. It looks so good, the pillow, the rug, and then like the ladder I made using Dollar Tree products. Let me show you. I think it's crazy that the throw pillow, the rug, and the ladder right here were all made with Dollar Tree products. Like, look how pretty it looks, and it's Dollar Tree, and I don't think you would even be able to tell. I don't I don't see how anybody would be able to tell, unless they're very familiar with Dollar Tree products. And there is Pepper with the roll <laughs> from the ribbon. None of it looks like items I pieced together from Dollar Tree to make them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. We'll see if we can get this video to 5,000 thumbs up. And make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you not have not subscribed. What am I saying? Who really knows ever, honestly. With that all being said, let's begin the tutorial. So Dollar Tree right now is carrying these rug with tassels. They come in three different colors, beige, green, and black. And Pepper's running away with it. No, pepper, caught. Oh gosh. Now the size on this thing is 16 by 24 inches. I am gonna be using two of them to create a throw pillow. So one for the back and one for the front. Now the item I am gonna be using to attach everything together is called Stitch Witchery. So basically it is this fabric bonding adhesive. What it does is it bonds two pieces of fabric together. There are instructions on the back. So what I do is I take my mats and I take the little tags that are on them off. I take the two that I'm using and I try to line them up as best as I can. When it comes to getting rugs, fabrics from Dollar Tree, honestly, no two are alike. Just line it up as best as you can. The two mats I had, they lined up pretty well. So what you'll be doing is taking your stitch witchery and cutting off pieces to fit the inside of the throw pillow wherever two pieces of fabric are going to be attached. You just wanna get a scissor to cut it and then you just place it down like it's a piece of tape. Now you will be using an iron to fuse the stitch witchery and the fabric together. Now you wanna place the iron on the setting of the material you're using, so I'm using cotton, and what you'll be doing is you'll be using the steam setting mainly. Now, what I saw online is that you wanna take the iron and use the steam setting and then lift the iron up, put it back down, use the steam setting, lift it back up, and just keep doing the lifting up motion. But what I did is I just kinda of ironed like normal first and then I did the steam setting. The reason I ironed like normal first is I wanted the stitch witchery to melt a little bit so that the rug wouldn't move on me and I would end up with unevenness to it because it kinda of moved and then the stitch witchery fused in a spot I didn't wanted to fuse in. Once you've ironed one side, you flip the fabric over and iron the other side. I recommend ironing at least both sides twice, just going over it again to make sure the stitch witchery fused really nicely. And you can slowly try to peel the fabric to see if you missed any spots. I then go ahead and fuse the top and the bottom of the throw pillow. Again, just using the stitch witchery, the same type of motion, iron first, and then just kind of lift up and down the iron on my steam setting. The iron I was using is from Black & Decker, but honestly, I don't think it matters the iron, as long as you have an iron and it has a steam setting. Now, before I closed up the last end, I went ahead and added my pillow stuffing. I got this pillow from Target for $3. I recommend getting a pillow from Walmart or Target and just taking the stuffing out of it versus buying like the polyfiber, I forget what it's called exactly, but just like the stuffing um, from a specific brand. Just buy the pillow, take the stuffing out of there. It is so much more cost effective to do it this way. And I had enough stuffing inside of the Target pillow for two pillows. Before sealing off the other end, make sure you got the stuffing flattened out the way you want it to be and filled enough and then you can close off the last end. When you're closing it off, you might have to hold it with your fingers and just be careful and place that iron down slowly to make sure it fuses the way you want it to be rather than all bunched up at one end. 
And then that's it for the throw pillows. These throw pillows are soft. Normally when you make throw pillows out of the Dollar Tree placemats, they're not the softest things. These ones are actually soft. Now moving on to the area rug. Again, you're gonna be using the same rugs and the stitch witchery, but this time around you are gonna to wanna to get a different fabric to help fuse the rug together. And I am just gonna be using this ribbon that I got at Dollar Tree. There is nine feet in this particular roll, which should be enough for the front and the back if you want that for your rug. So I'm gonna be using four of these little area rugs and attaching them together to create one big one. So I take two of them and I place them side by side. I then take the stitch witchery and I place it on top of the area where the two meet side by side. I then go ahead and take that ribbon that I got and I cut out a piece that's gonna lay on top of that and that's how I'm gonna get all the rugs to be attached to each other. I'm using that ribbon to give it a base that they all can attach to. Now you can go ahead and kind of just layer the rugs on top of each other some way if you don't wanna use ribbon. I just thought that the ribbon would be an easier way to do it and it would be flatter in those areas where two rugs meet versus if I was trying to layer the rugs exactly to each other. Don't know if that makes sense. Now, this is the thing. Originally, I wanted the ribbon part to be the bottom of the rug, the part that you couldn't see, but I ended up liking the ribbon as the top part better. Now, I didn't have enough ribbon for both the top and the bottom or to fix the area where I didn't make the ribbon long enough because the ribbon I had used for other DIYs. If you're buying the ribbon for just the rug, you're gonna be okay, but I had already used some and I didn't have enough to kind of fix my mistake where I didn't make the middle piece of ribbon long enough. But you know what, like I said, I didn't know that I was gonna end up liking that side. If I would've known from the get-go, I would've like made it perfect. Now you might notice as you're attaching the rugs together, some rugs are just slightly longer than other rugs. So what I recommend doing before you attach any of this together is to lie the rugs out and get the placement right because you can line it up so that it ends up all looking even versus like starting to fuse and realizing one rug is way too long than another rug. You can figure it out and make it work ahead of time before it's too late. Don't know if that makes sense, but again, is that, I'm, I'm not the best at describing things. I just feel like you can see what I'm doing and if you do this, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Now that is it for the area rug. Now if you have hardwood floors and you're afraid the woven rugs are gonna be moving around on you, Dollar Tree does carry non-slip rug underlays that you can place under the rug so it's not slipping all over the place. Another thing I was thinking is maybe you can get the mats that they carry and the smaller rugs that are more slip resistant and attach them to the woven rug. Um, those are just some ideas. They also carry like bath slip that is like a plastic, a non-slip. The only thing is since it's plastic, I know you cannot use the stitch witchery because it's just gonna melt it. So that is it for this throw pillow and area rug using the Dollar Tree woven rugs. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am in love with how it came out. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. Wait, I just said that. <laughs> Anyways, I will see you guys next time. Take care, bye.